Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install the Game of Thrones mod that I've been doing the Lannister series and the Tyrell series. So you're going to go here on Mods DB under Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms and you're going to find a Game of Thrones. And once you're here, you're going to go to the files. You're going to click here on Game of Thrones Total War version 4.9. You're going to go ahead and hit download now. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that, but you hit download now, and then it should come up over here in your download tab. Once that's done, and you'll get a WinRAR file, you're going to go ahead and extract these files. And you're going to want to go find where your, uh, your Steam is. For most of you, it might be on the C drive. For me, I have it on an external D drive, so you're going to put it where your medieval 2 is downloaded so for me it's steam steam apps common uh, medieval 2 total war and then you're going to go into mods hit ok All right so i'm not going to do that because i already have it installed so let's go ahead and find where we just hypothetically extracted it all right so steam steam apps common Medieval 2 mods. Okay, so right now I change, I have four different mods installed here. So uh, what you're going to have, you're going to have something called GOT underscore enhanced. That's going to be the folder before you change it. There's multiple ways to get this to work, but changing the files is the easiest way for me. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, for me, I use the Crusades. As you can see, this is where I have the Game of Thrones enhanced, right? So before I change it, it would look like something like this, right? So that's what you should have something looking similar to that. So what you're going to do is go ahead and change the default um, Crusades, Americas, British Isles. It doesn't matter. But go ahead and make that original and just put a 2 after it. That's what I do. And then you're going to change the Game of Thrones mod and you're going to make it the name of the original file. So for me, I'm going to do Crusades, right? So now let's go ahead and launch the Crusades through Steam. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit play. Crusades, play. And now this will launch up the Game of Thrones mod that you just installed. Now, for whatever reason, this mod is very unstable sometimes. So every time that you start a fresh game, you're going to have to do a quick battle first. Otherwise, it will crash every time. So always, whenever you first start up this game... Sorry about the, the, the music's a bit loud, but... Uh, Always, when you first start up this game, before you go to start a campaign, always do a quick battle. Otherwise, it will crash back to desktop every time. So, now that we did that, we can go ahead and quit. Now you're ready to start your campaign. And, just to show you that it works... Okay, so just to show you that it works now, we're going to start a new campaign as Boltons. See, there you go, and it is working. So, I hope that this helped all of you, and, you know, if it did, make sure you uh, like and subscribe, and... Hope you enjoy your adventures in Game of Thrones.